Well, it's the end of an era in Detroit. The Lions released Glover Quinn last week, and I'll be weighing in with my thoughts on GQ's impact, the future at safety, and more on today's episode of Tory's Take, presented by Priority Health. Business is business in the NFL, and the Lions did what they had to do in releasing veteran safety Glover Quinn last week. Look, most of us were prepared for the possibility of the Lions being without Glover Quinn this year, if for no other reason than he was contemplating his own football future. But now that possibility is reality, and the Lions are moving on at safety. There are always money implications to moves like these, plus the fact that the Lions like what they have in second-year safety Tracy Walker. This decision likely means we'll see much more of Walker, who showed some really good things in his rookie season, including an interception and a second one that should have won the game in San Francisco, if not for a penalty. But Quinn's departure was significant enough to warrant a statement from general manager Bob Quinn in which he said, quote, we thank Glover for his countless contributions to the Detroit Lions during his six seasons with our team. Since joining the organization in 2013, Glover exemplified everything it means to be a true professional in this league, as both a competitor on the field and a leading voice in the community. While teammates weighed in on social media saying how much he meant and how much he'll be missed. And since this is my take, I can say, he was a huge asset to this team, both in his play on the field and his leadership. A free agent signing in 2013, he was a stalwart in the secondary. I've always enjoyed watching him tackle in the open field, and my first season with the Lions was his Pro Bowl season in 2014, where he led the NFL in interceptions. Looking back at what the Lions did on the field that first year I was here, that was certainly one of the highlights. In the locker room, he was a leader, and no doubt through his expertise and knowledge, he helped along the development of Darius Slay, Quandre Diggs, and Tracy Walker. From a pure media perspective, he was always willing to answer any question and always treated us with respect and patience. As Bob Quinn said, he really did exemplify a true professional in the league, and the Lions are better off for having had Glover Quinn on their team. Speaking of eras and other roster moves last week, the Lions did re-sign veteran long snapper Don Muehlbach. You know what they say, death, taxes, and Don Muehlbach. It's no surprise the Lions are keeping him in the fold as John Bonamago returns to coach special teams. They also re-signed linebacker Steve Longa and released wide receiver Bruce Ellington, who joined the team late last year and helped out after Marvin Jones Jr.'s injury. Could the parting with Ellington mean making room for new wide receivers in the draft or free agency? Well, we'll find out. For the extra point, we take a look at Antonio Brown. The Central Michigan product did a little Q&A on Twitter over the weekend to address his trade request with the Steelers. He expressed some frustrations with the organization and the way he says quarterback Ben Roethlisberger calls players and coaches out. Brown is set to meet with Steelers owner Art Rooney II this week, so it should be interesting to see what happens should the star wide receiver hit the trade market. All right, that's it for this week's off-season edition of Tory's Take presented by Priority Health. From Xfinity Studio, I'm Tori Petrie.